Harrogate have their edge back, says Simon Weaver. They'll need it here against a much improved Tramere side. Keith Hill's team have put together back-to-back -to -back wins now and sit within touching distance of the playoffs. He names an unchanged lineup here as they look to make it three wins in a row. There's one new face for Harrogate here at Prenton Park. Warren Burrell into the lineup replacing Jay Williams. Not the best of starts for the season for Tranmere, but they're back on track under Keith Hill and James Vaughan jumping for the ball there. And in red hot form this season, 12 goals already. It's Harrogate who attacked down the right hand side with Kiernan. A second opportunity to get the ball into the area. Good defending from Tranmere to deny that chance. Eventually, glance goalwards, and they're not too far away. It's Aaron Martin rising to meet that one inside the box. Did brilliantly to turn it goalwards, had to improvise from the flick on. Searching for that far corner, not too far away. Well, they've really imposed themselves so far in this game, Harrogate, and I don't think Tramir are going to get things all their own way. Here comes Muldoon. Trying to open his body up to release the shot, but not given the chance to do that. The ball will come back, though, for the away side. Again, seeing some joy down this left-hand side. McPake pokes into the middle. Superb defending and a brilliant block by Clark. Let's watch this one back from Clark as the shot comes goalwards. Fantastic anticipation from the experienced centre-back. Good press this by Harrogate, really cutting down the opportunities for Tranmere to pass the ball forward. But equally, they've done well to thread the ball in between these tight spaces and carry forward. It's a good flick on towards Lewis. And now Lloyd. Lloyd with a chance. And what a stop that is by Belshaw. Quickly down to his left-hand side to push away for a corner. You can see the expectation here and the disbelief from Lloyd. He thinks that's in. Feeney, good delivery, touched away and carried off by Kiernan. Lovely control by Spearing. Looking to play one of those slick passes through the middle. Didn't quite come off on this occasion, but he's starting to come into the game more and more in that central area. He's given the ball away here in a dangerous area. Muldoon now, on towards Kiernan. And they open up and get this shot away. Well, there might be a chance for an opener, and there is. And it's a brilliant shot from McPake, squeezing the ball beyond Davies. It's the away side, Harrogate, to grab the lead here at Prenton Park. Well found here by Thompson. First touch is good. Didn't have many other options. And went for the front post and scored. and penalised by the referee here. Didn't seem to get too much of the ball. Feeney. Deep delivery, searching ball to the back of the box. Slam goalwards by Lloyd. And then there's a foul in there by Warren Burrell and the referee points to the spots. Big protests here from the Harrogate players, but the referee not hesitating. There was the initial incident here, half-hearted appeals for a handball, but it's this challenge here on Monte. And a foul given by the referee. Top scorer, James Vaughan. A yellow card there for Connor Hall for some words said to the referee. Vaughan slams it down the middle and Tramia are level in this game. Tramia won, Harrogate won. The ever dependable James Vaughan from the spot.
Lewis waiting in the middle and Lloyd as well. Gives the ball away to Kiernan. Clearance doesn't find a teammate and Tramir will come straight back. Good pressure this by the home side. Lewis. And now Lloyd. Good delivery. And it's allowed to bounce and touched out of play. Corner for Tramir. That's a good header. And it's turned in. Well, Woolery grabs it for Tramir after a good flick on by Peter Clark inside the box from the corner. Tramir, well, it's normal business resumed for them. Looking like they're back on winning ways. Arrogates find themselves behind in this game and needing a quick response. Swift break here. For Feeney down the left-hand side, he's on the run, heading towards the byline. It's well cut out by Perel. Another nice delivery from the corner. Headed goalwards and squeezed in this time by Vaughan. 14 for the season now for him in League Two. A brilliant second half performance so far from Tranmere. Two goals in eight minutes. And it's a poacher's finish from James Vaughan. Lovely turn by Woolery. And that's a cynical challenge. And Connor Hall. Well, already in the book, already has a yellow card in this game. And the referee has no choice really than to give the second yellow and to give Hall his marching orders. Hey, Otis Khan protests to the referee, but the decision has been made. Tenman Harrogate spin the ball into the area and it's gone in. Glancing header at the front post. Finds its way through the crowd and into that far corner. And it's a goal back for the away side. Feeney. Clever play. Wants it back to so much hard work for this side. I've got some brilliant players in this squad. Another one on the ball right now. Vaughan on towards Feeney. Those two combining well. Nice delivery and a good stop from the keeper in the middle. Well, was that a save or did that go straight into the side netting from the angle I'm at? Well, actually, it was a save and it's a super stop. James Vaughan with a hefty challenge there, and that's penalised. Falkingham definitely felt the effects of this one. Nice ball in. We're going to continue to ask questions of this Tramir defence, despite the fact that they have one less player on the field. Monte in there, and the goalkeeper, Scott Davies, had to put his body on the line there. Brave stop from the keeper here to keep Tramir ahead. Hooked goalwards and an easy stop in the end. Well anticipated from Scott Davies. Gets across to deny Josh March. Well, there we go. It's the whistle that Tramir have been waiting for. They edge ever closer to the playoffs. Things looking very, very promising under Keith Hill. And it finishes here tonight. An entertaining fixture. Tramir 3, Harrogate 2.